Thank you so much, Alan. That was, I feel the winds of God. Welcome everyone to our Wednesday worship once again. We would like to acknowledge that the land on which we gather is the traditional territory of the Algonquin Anishinaabe people. And at this time, as usual, I would like to thank the following people who are making this possible. I would like to thank Nicole McCarricker, who is going to speak to us today about a collective look at youth mental health. So thank you for, to Nicole for joining us today. I would like to welcome Alan back this week and to say thank you very much for making your magic at the keyboard and helping us make music today. And I would also like to, to thank Christine and Aiden and Patty for helping us lead the hymns and to Aiden for doing percussion as well. To Kurt, of course, who is doing video and to Lisa, who's in our sound booth doing so many things and making this all possible. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you Show me the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. And that's from Psalm 143. Please join us for our first hymn today, More Voices 88, Over My Head. Nicole McCarricker, 
Nicole has been the executive director of Osgood Youth Association, or OYA, for the past 10 years. She is also the co-chair of the Ottawa Child and Youth Initiative's Critical Hours Task Force. Osgood Youth is the backbone agency for a collective impact project on rural youth mental health. The collective is working toward helping rural Ottawa youth feel more supported with her mental health. Nicole lives in Osgood Village with her husband Rick, who is a retired OPV officer, two teenage sons, Noah and Aiden, and their German Shepherd Husky puppy named Georgia. Welcome, Nicole. Hi, my name is Nicole McCarricker, and I'm the Executive Director of the Osgood Youth Association, or OYA, located in Osgood Village. OYA offers programs uh, for youth in grades 2 to 12, uh, and we offer everything from a before-school program to an after-school homework club uh, and teen drop-in and day camps, uh, with everything from programs on social recreation to skill building, leadership, mental health, physical health, arts and culture, uh, and building healthy relationships. Um, we run these programs um, normally in person um, when COVID uh, restrictions allow, um, but currently we are offering uh, a whole series of virtual youth center programs. You can learn more about OYA's programs and services at our website, uh, which is www.o-ya.ca. Uh, today, I am happy to be here to talk to you about the Rural Ottawa Youth Mental Health Collective Impact Project. OYA oh, yeah, is the backbone organization for this project. Um, and we, it's, uh, as I mentioned, a collective. So this is made up of OYA oh, yeah, plus 13 other rural youth serving agencies. And these agencies uh, are the Youth of Manitic Association, or YOMA, CHEO, uh, their YouthNet program, Ottawa Child and Youth Initiative, the Ottawa Police Service, City of Ottawa Rural Affairs, a Youth Mental Health Counselor, Western Ottawa Community Resource Centre, Nepean Rideau Osgood Community Resource Centre, the South Nepean Satellite Community Health Centre, Orleans Cumberland Community Resource Centre, PLEO or the Parents Lifeline of Eastern Ontario, and a group of youth with lived experience. We are really, really grateful for the work uh, of our youth with lived experience. They form a youth advisory committee for this project and their expertise and experience and feedback on everything that we do has been a really invaluable resource uh, for this project and we're really really happy that uh, that youth are involved in a youth uh, in a project that is for youth. <laughs> um, this project has uh, has three main steps to it. Uh, the first step was a community needs assessment um, and in 2019 686 rural Ottawa youth and parents took place in our community needs assessment. Um, there were si uh, a series of surveys, one-on-one -on -one interviews, uh, a focus group, um, and a literature review. That process identified four gaps in mental health support for rural Ottawa youth. The first of those was that rural youth do not currently feel supported with their mental health. Um, first, there's a lack of accessible and consistent mental health resources. And second, there is a lack of knowledge about those resources that do exist. The second is that there's a lack of mental health education and prevention for rural youth. The third is that there are challenges with accessing in-person mental health services that are unique to rural youth. These include that rural youth cannot access mental health services on their own, the access to services that are in urban and suburban areas require transportation, uh, the, then there are transportation challenges such as the timing of appointments, car availability, and the time required to get to these services. And also rural residents, there is a rural resistance to city services, whereas some residents do not feel comfortable driving to and in the city and accessing unfamiliar services. And the fourth gap that we identified is that there is insufficient mental health services being offered at rural schools. So taking those four gaps into account, the collective came up with um, our intended impact statement for the project. And that is by 2024, 
30% of rural Ottawa youth will get the mental health support that they need. So we're working on estimating the percentage of rural Ottawa youth that currently feel supported with their mental health, but from our community community needs assessment, that percentage is really, really low. Um, the other thing that we're working on right now is a means of identifying what kinds of mental health supports would be most useful and most, um, most wanted by rural youth. We came up with a definition of what getting the mental health support rural youth means, um, and this is that definition. So if Rural youth feel supported. This means that they know how to create and maintain mental, healthy mental health. They have some knowledge about mental illness, like knowing the signs and symptoms and some treatment options. They have supportive friends, family, and or mentors who are genuinely interested in them and their mental health. They're able to overcome the stigma surrounding mental health. They're able to assess their own mental health needs. They're able to access resources if their mental health is declining and they're able to access resources if they're experiencing a mental health crisis. They have knowledge about and access to mental health resources in their rural community, and they're able to access a youth mental health counselor in their area if needed. Finally, they would have access to a consistent and safe space for social recreation and community engagement. So between uh, now and the end of 2024, these are the types of programs and services that our collective is looking to have in place um, for rural Ottawa youth to be able to access. The Rural Ottawa Youth Mental Health Collective has developed a, a theory of change or a roadmap um, for how we can get uh, from the place where we are right now, which is rural youth not feeling very supported with their mental health, um, to a place where they are feeling supported with their mental health. That roadmap uh, has identified five strategies for how we're going to get from point A to point B. Uh, and those strategies are strategy number one, to promote and deliver mental health education and prevention skills for youth. Strategy two, mental health, to promote and deliver mental health education and prevention skills for youth's circle of care. Um, and in this case, circle of care uh, means anyone who is around to help and support that youth, whether it's their family or friends, uh, sports coaches, teachers, uh, that type of thing. Strategy three is to advocate for and support youth mental health counseling programs in rural communities. Strategy number four is to provide information about mental health resources available for rural youth. And strategy number five is a community engagement strategy. Again, all of these strategies are leading towards our intended impact statement um, that by 2024, 30% of rural Ottawa youth will feel more supported with their mental health. Um, so where we are right now with this project, um, we're at a really exciting point. Um, we're about to launch uh, an online survey. Um, we have worked really hard uh, developing this online survey with Ottawa Public Health and with a youth evaluation uh, program out of Toronto called YouthRex. Um, and the survey that we have developed um, can be done online by youth. And it is, the strategy of the survey is to look at each of those strategies that I just mentioned and figure out what types of programs and services within each strategy are going to help youth feel most supported. Um, so just to give you an example, strategy number one was to promote and deliver mental health education and promotion skills for youth. So the kinds of questions that we're going to be asking are, would youth uh, like to see things like programs on how to ask for mental health help, um, how to be more resilient or bounce back or recover difficult, from difficult conditions, um, how to build healthy relationships, how to practice gratitude and self-compassion, how to practice self-care, positive lifestyles, uh, or programs and workshops on things like body confidence, conflict resolution, coping with anxiety and stress, practicing mindfulness, managing timelines, um, all of those great programs and services. Um, there's a lot of them, so we know that we can't offer um, everything right away, uh, and that's why we're doing the survey. So the survey takes a look at all of those programs and services, and it's going to ask rural youth to sort of rank 
um, how important uh, each of those are to them and how supported each of those activities would make them feel with their mental health. And once we get the results of that survey, um, then those that ranked near the top are the types of programs and services that we are going to uh, start running in all of rural Ottawa. Um, so our survey is going to launch uh, very soon. Um, and I would encourage you, if you um, know local rural youth or if you have a network of rural Ottawa youth, uh, we would very much appreciate your help um, in, uh, in passing along the survey. The survey link is going to be found on OYA's website. So again, that's www.o-ya.ca. Um, and there's some great prizes. Uh, so Bell Let's Talk uh, has actually partnered with our program um, and they have supplied uh, prizes for filling out the survey to give youth a bit of extra incentive to fill it out. Um, so we're gonna be doing uh, prize draws in each of the four rural Ottawa wards. Um, and in each ward, we're going to draw four prizes, uh, four random uh, participants will win a $150 gift card um, to the store of their choosing. Um, so that's a pretty great incentive uh, if you know youth. Um, so it would help us uh, greatly by uh, filling out the survey um, and it will help them because they will have their say uh, in what programs and services uh, are going to, uh, to start being offered in their area uh, to support them with their mental health. So I uh, appreciate your time today. And uh, if you have any questions or comments uh, about, the, about OYA or about the collective, um, I encourage you to reach out to me. Um, you can reach me currently during COVID um, as we're closed by email, which is Nicole, N-I-C-O-L-E, at o-ya.ca. So thank you very much and stay safe, everybody. Dear God, the constant struggles and demands feel intense some days. We're weary and worn sometimes and exhausted and sometimes discouraged. There never seems to be enough hours in the day to get everything done that we need to get completed. And it's just hard to keep going in the fa face of defeat and discouragement sometimes. Please help us to remember that you are there, close, and you promise never to leave us. Thank you that you are our refuge and our strength and ever-present help in times of trouble. Help us to trust you more, to stop wasting so much time just spinning our wheels, distracted and worried, or wrestling in our own strength. Thank you for the victories in our lives that are no explanation except that God did this. We give you the glory and honor for all that you're doing every day even in the times we can't see it at all or fully understand your ways. We know that your desire is for us to live life abundantly and free. Thank you that you are greater than anything we face here in this life. And our desire is to reflect your love and light to the world that so desperately needs your hope. Remind us that all the momentary troubles in every single battle belongs to you. We believe that whatever we're up against can be taken down in one fell swoop by your mighty hand. Thank you for the victories in our lives that are no exception. God did this. Help us to keep our eyes on you and off of our circumstances. Help us to see when another soul around us needs to be encouraged. May we be faithful to carry one another's burdens, remembering that we're in this life journey together and there is great power in unity. We love you, Lord, and we need you today. We need you every day. We're reminded of our weakness, but we know that in you we are strong. We lift up our hearts and hands to worship you. Thank you for your great love and care. Thank you that you surround us like a shield we choose to find rest in you today. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Please join us for our closing hymn, My Love Colors Outside the Lines, More Voices 138.
Oh, oh.